Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to go over a few things. I'm trying to get my stand to stay still. So anyways, first things first. I know I recorded, um, I don't know, it was before Christmas and I mentioned eight days of giveaways and um, I deeply apologize for that. I am so busy at work. It's it's ridiculous um, and so I've just been working and then in between that I had to do Christmas shopping, wrapping, cooking, cleaning. I got so caught up in everything and it was just crazy crazy. So I do plan on doing that. Um, this video is actually going to be the one I want you to comment on. I'm going to use a comment picker and I'm going to still do and stand by my eight days of giveaway but you're gonna have to bear with me on the time frame um i will pick my winners after the new year uh that way it gives you plenty of time to comment um and then on the shipping i will get to as soon as possible uh as you know if you're well unless you're new here i work at disneyland in star wars galaxy's edge and we are so busy that they've actually shut down Disney where they were not letting any more people buy tickets um so it has been really crazy and um so I just I have not had time I did get my hair cut though finally um it was super long but it was a lot a lot of dead ends um so on day before Christmas Eve I just stopped in somewhere and I'm like I'm gonna do me I want to get my hair cut um but it has been insane as for updates just a quick short update if you don't want to hear it uh just fast forward i'm not doing timestamps. just fast forward a little bit um i'm not monetizing either i never started my youtube channel for one for the money um so that's that and i am still monetized but i'm just not going to do it um so you don't have to watch commercials uh updates are um you know i still have the atrial fibrillation that i am taking my meds for um the eloquist i am um, starting to bruise from it quite a bit um and then i had to have a root canal which came up uh the week before christmas so that was adventurous because i had to go off of my blood thinner for a couple days so it was so painful just waiting because the whole like root was exposed and it was my back bottom molar not the one in the very back but the one right here good lord when i found out i was scheduled on wednesday to have my root canal and i called my cardiologist to just to verify that it was okay they called me the day of my root canal uh, a couple hours before I was set to go in and they said I had to wait because I had to go off of my blood thinners at least two to three days prior. That was a Wednesday and I had called out of work so I could get my root canal done. And so I called out of work and got points for nothing. Um, we run off of a point system at work so that's a whole different ball game. But Anyways, I was very frustrated, so then I had to prolong the root canal until Monday. Uh, so I was in horrendous pain uh, for a good week. Um, between that, working, Christmas, just I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to eat. It was really hard to work with that because my work is retail, and in uh, Star Wars, we are... Uh, like building droids, building lightsabers. So it's just crazy intense. You have to be able to communicate with everybody there. Anyways, I got my root canal. Thank you, God. But I still have to go get my permanent filling and a crown. And I've not been able to do that yet. It's just been so intense. Anyways, um, there's that. So I'm maintaining my AFib. Got my root canal. Work's going good, just super, super busy. I mean, we went from really slow to super, super busy. It's just crazy. Um, and uh, what else? 
Um, today is my grandson's birthday, so happy birthday to him. He is two today. And um, on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. We had a fire at my house, um, in the back house, and it burned down my granddaughter's bike from Santa. So, and our carport, and a few other things. Everybody's okay. So that's the main important thing. Um, I put in a word to Santa and um, we got a replacement bike, but um, it cost Santa twice the amount, but anything for the grandkids. Uh, but we had a good Christmas, especially because everybody was okay and we were all together and it was really good. And I hope your guys' was good as well if you celebrate Christmas. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love reading all of your guys' comments. Um, I'm going to go over some products. This video is mainly about the Pat McGrath Star Wars. But I do want to briefly throw in a couple other um, products that I did buy. That I did ask if you were interested in. Um, so I'm going to just do like quick reviews on everything i'm not going to probably swatch much because this video would be way too long so during the star wars launch on pat mcgrath i did sign up for early access um and i was able to get my hands on both of the palettes the six pan and the lip balms um funny thing is i thought these were like a lipstick with like a glitter it's my own fault. They are Lip Fetish Nude Astral and Gold Astral. And then this is the Clear. So I knew this one was going to be the Lip Balm, which I have always wanted to try her Lip Balm. Uh, but I just never did. This is stunning. I don't know if that red dot's supposed to be either. Um, I'm very curious. If you know, let me know. Because I have a feeling it... I didn't see that in the picture, but you know, it's a beauty mark, I guess. Anyways, so this is the regular lip balm and I will be using this a lot because my hands are dry, my lips are dry. Uh, my hands are tore up from Droid Depot building droids. Like my nails are so jagged. I had, I just, I've had it. I was getting my nails done for a while and I just, I can't work in there, so it is what it is. When we're getting ready to open uh, Rise of the Resistance, the ride, uh, January 17th, so looking forward to that. Then I got this one, which is the red dark one. And just look at that. That is so freaking stunning. And then, so this does have a slight pink tint, but it's going to be really, really light. But that's okay. Because I could put a lip liner underneath it and just to give it like a more of a, a tint of color. Uh, love the packaging. Oh my gosh. She really couldn't have nailed it any better with the, the, this packaging is everything. I will be keeping all these cartons, by the way. And I did order from when she had her sell on these lipsticks. Not these ones, but the original during, um, I think, Black Friday, I ordered my sister one, and then I ordered a few. Um, it did take a while, but um, throughout the whole process of an email, I, e I waited about nine days, and then I emailed customer service, and they got right back to me and said that they were sorry for the delay. It was on the way. So I've never, so the shipping's been on delay, I think, for everything I ordered four things for my grandkids and they came the day after Christmas. Okay, so that's just the way it has been. Now the difference between other companies and the issue I had with Scott Barnes is that Scott Barnes, uh, his company or whatever you want to call it, they never got back to me and when they did, they gave me a fake shipping tracking number and then finally after I harassed them, they gave me a real tracking number. So that is the difference that uh, his customer service is uh, zero stars, absolutely horrible. His products, his eyeshadows are just so-so. Um, they are nothing to run out and buy. Um, the uh, sculpting palette, which I have right here, let me grab. 
the Sculpting and Contour I am in love with. I'm not going to lie about the product. Um, the Cheek Blush I am in love with. These are phenomenal. So if you want to, you know, maybe he'll step up on his customer service. I don't know. But this palette is nothing to write home about, especially for the price. It just, it's just not all that. It's not bad, but it's just, it wasn't worth it for the torture I went through. So uh, Pat McGrath, I've never had an issue with her customer service. Um, again, shipping delays, yes, during the holidays only. And then, so this is the last one. I love, I love this whole packaging. Um, super, super pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it has like some specks of glitter. So I am really well uh, stocked on lip balms here. Um, I did not buy the colored one of this, the lipstick, I should have. Um, and I did miss the uh, the Decadence launch where she repackaged the Decadence palette. Although I'm hearing that two of the shadows look a little bit different than the original. So I was working during that launch and I totally missed that boat. So that was the only palette I couldn't get. I'm crossing my fingers that I get a hold of that palette. So anyways, grateful for what I've got. I got the, um, this is the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. I did see the movie too, by the way. It was, it was, mm, it was okay. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but you let me know down in the comments again below what you thought about it. I just thought it was okay. This is the Dark Galaxy palette. Packaging just kills it. I am wearing both these palettes on my eyes. I kind of dipped back and forth. So here is the slip with the names. And if I remove that, then here are the colors. This color here and this one here, they're all really gorgeous, but these three, just like, oh my gosh. Let me give you some swatches right here. Stunning. This one you build up. I have the, that one on the inner corner of my eye. Oh my God. So beautiful. That one is so gorgeous. And this red with the shimmer is out of this world. So I used all the palette on my eye today. Um, I know one of them is a repeat shade, um, but I don't care. I love this palette. I have this one under my eye right here, just slightly. I have this one running through the crease, this one that buffed it out at the top. Um, this one on the inner corner. I have this one on the outer V right here. And then I have this one on the lid. It's just stunning. If if she relaunches these and you want to get your hands on them, I highly recommend them because the quality definitely lives up to her standards. And then here is the uh, Star Wars Galactic Gold with C-3PO on the outer carton. Love it. And it is completely different than her other six pan palettes. I mean, well, this is the four pan, but they have the little ties. They're all the same. So these just have the flap to open and they are magnetic and they do have a very nice size mirror. Um, I did use this color here on my brow bone. I love it. Now I know that there are three repeat shades in here from other palettes she has released. Um, I believe it is, let's see here. Corruption Bronze, and if I can read it, I, need, I should wear my glasses. Gold Standard. So this one, this one, this one, these three are repeat shades. And then these are new. This one is stunning, stunning. It's got like a um, duochrome. It kind of shifts. It is just stunning. It's a bad spot to put it in because it's on my knuckles. Like, really? It's just gorgeous, you guys. 
stunning. I know you're not going to be able to see the duochrome in it, but it is gorgeous. Um, so I will use more of this palette probably tomorrow because I am off of work. And that is another thing about work is I have to wear all neutral shades. So a lot of times when I'm working, I can't wear my favorite palettes. And that is where this one comes into play. This is stunning and I know a lot of people want to get their hands on it. And so I guess I think it's Selfridges that released this one early and they released the her Lunar New Year one early. Um, I don't know if it was by mistake or what, but it is coming to her website that like this one did. So this one came to her website and so is the Lunar New Year one on January 2nd. So just you have to pay attention that morning and be ready to buy like I did for this one. Um, I was just on it. Luckily, I was off of work and able to be on the internet. And this is her outer a carton. Um, this, I keep all of them in those because those are just such a work of art. This is the inner casing, which is really heavy duty, the same as for usual. So this one is the um, Divine Rose. So this one, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So these shades I can get away with pretty much at work because they are not really overkill in the color like this one right here. Oh my gosh, this one's so gorgeous. Um, so I'll put it right here. Let's see. So I can get away with that one because it's not too, see the shift though? Like there's gold and then it's pink. That is, oh my gosh. Um, and then this one I, I've worn as well. So I can turn to this palette a lot because the colors almost look neutral when I blend them with like the browns and stuff. If you can get your hands on this palette, if she re-releases it, like the Decadence palette she re-released with the Star Wars packaging, which I really want. Um, look at that. Oh my God. It's like a taupe color to me. That's what it looks like. Um, uh, hopefully she'll do the same for this because I know a lot of people really, really wanted to get their hands on this. So this is a stunning palette. I can turn to this for work a lot. I can usually get away with the gold if it's not like bam in your face gold, if it's like a kind of toned down gold, um, kind of like these mauve rose tone colors I can get away with. Um, so I wear these to work and then I, I wear a lot of uh, just, you know, neutral. I have a ton of neutral shades, so there's no shortage there. Anyways, I want to do a quick review on the melt i only bought the one this is the more morte i'm sorry if i say that wrong the morte palette um this is stunning packaging absolutely gorgeous i would like the other half but i don't know if there are colors that i would really wear a whole lot so i'm kind of debating on it um this palette is gorgeous i cannot wear this to work though so it's a kind of a bummer when I'm off of work. I really have to pick and choose what I'm going to wear. Um, but this palette is stunning. The shadows are absolutely amazing and blend like a dream. So I would definitely recommend this palette if you've been kind of on the fence about it. I think it is so, so worth it. Um, and then I did dive into the... Uh, Jaclyn Hill highlights. I, I swore to myself I wasn't going to do it because she never ever mentioned anything about re-releasing the lipsticks. I in fact took a photo, um, a screenshot of the email she sent or her customer service sent to me uh, during the whole lipstick thing. Um, they said they were, you know, sorry about the issues. We're going to refund your money. We are reformulating and redoing the lipsticks. And as soon as we have them done, we will ship out replacements. I have not heard a word about replacements since then. And in her video 
on her highlights she never ever ever mentioned anything about that so i was really kind of disappointed with that whole thing because you want to fix your mistake before you continue on and if you're still working on it if it's a work in progress at least let your people know let your customers know but i dived in and i i caved i'm a highlight freak anyways so i got the flare and the flash i can get away with both of them so here's the deal with the flash it is the darker of the two and let me get them out of the package that'd be wonderful uh when i first went to buy them because i waited so long they were sold out of the lighter one. Oh no i mixed them up this huh my bad that was the lighter one so the flash is the darker one so they were sold out of the flare so i got the flash because i wanted to try it out packaging is very heavy duty raylux i do not like the font that she used uh, but that's just like my personal opinion so it doesn't affect the product there is a nice mirror in here and then the four shades. I use this one as a blush topper, which works out perfect. Sometimes I throw this in on my bronze if I want a little shimmer on my face. And they do very well. And then these two I can use as a highlighter. This one I've been using like a ton. And I actually had to buy the bundle because they were sold out of this one separate. Those are the four shades on my regaled hand. Love that. Love it. So it came with this brush and I do use this brush for kind of right here, right here. Um, I like my Fenty one a lot better because it is more of a shape to go around. So when I go right here, I use my Fenty brush. Um, but the brush isn't bad. I can't complain. I love the design and it does its job. Anyways, same with this. Uh, it is like, just like I like it, beaming from the moon. I just, you can see me from the moon and that's exactly how I like it. Um, so I am very happy with this. Uh, and needless to say that there hasn't been any, you know, bad things going on with them. Like, you know, anything involved inside, uh, like the lipsticks with, the holes and the hairs and all that, that I've seen, because I watched a lot of videos. This is the lighter of the two, this is the flash. And I can use all these on my skin tone. They all work really, really well. They're stunning. They're uh, just, they're gorgeous. Um, I think she nailed it with the highlighter. I think it blends into the skin really, really well. If you want a blinding highlight that kind of melts into your skin, doesn't sit on top of it, these are phenomenal. Uh, I recommend them. I really do. Uh, I really wish she would finish correcting the lipsticks or at least notify us of what's going on with that. Um, but, you know, there's nothing I can do. So there's the darker of the two and then the lighter. Um, I bought the other one, the lighter palette at my Morphe store. I just happened to walk in and they had it. And so it was like meant to be. I got three of the, the loose highlights. I have a uh, bomb, amped, and extra. I'm wearing two of these today. I'm wearing bomb and extra. This one is extra. I love the packaging. I, the, the, um, what do you call it? The glass type. I can't, the words are right on the back of my tongue and I can't think of it. Frosted glass. I love it. It's beautiful. This is, it. this is, oh my gosh. This is the highlight of all highlights. I have to say, she really nailed it with these. So I'm wearing this and I am like blinding and I can't do that at work, so when I'm off of work, I totally go for it. This is amped right here. In fact, I got called out from my highlight or one day at work from one of my managers. They're like, oh, you know, it's a little too much, too bright. I'm like, okay, I will tone it down when I work. That is so beautiful. Look at that. 
That one blends kind of right into my skin tone. That one's amped. I like an olive kind of skin tone. And then this is Balm. Some I got on the website and some I got in the Morphe store. This is gorgeous. I am wearing this one as well. I'm wearing Balm and Extra. So I'm wearing Balm right here and then Extra here and here. And a little bit up there. It's just like, bam. And then I got one of the all over face power in the color do me i want to get carrot because carrots because i think that's more my skin tone color but what i do with this is i take it and i kind of put it in my areas that i want a little bit lighter uh, and with an all over brush um, because this on its own isn't really a highlight for me it's more of just a, a brightener you know, you do a brightener under your eye. This is kind of a brightener for your face. That's how I use it anyways. So I just take an all over brush and kind of like brush right here, right here, right here, up here, here, kind of here. Just kind of brighten up, liven up my face from being so flipping tired at work. <laughs> but anyways, so those are the products I mainly wanted to cover. They are all a hit, the ones I showed you absolutely phenomenal i'm so sorry for those of you that try to get these and cannot i really hope she restocks um and this as well but i know these are still available on her website i do want the one lipstick one with the color because uh, i know i will totally totally wear that one all the time so anyways please leave your comments down below I'd like to know my favorite video of yours. Um, basically for the giveaway, I'm gonna keep it super simple. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Um, did you pick up any of these? Uh, if you did, do you like it? Uh, if you didn't, did you want to or any, anything like that? Uh, how was your Christmas or holiday? And um, happy new year, cause that is coming really, really quick. Again, I will be picking from a comment picker in the comment section on this video. So please make sure you comment and don't just say, hey, I'd love to win. I'd like to know some details uh, throughout this video of yours. So anyways, um, I really hope to see you very soon. I do apologize for being such a big gap in my videos, but I do appreciate everyone that has kept in touch and that really, uh, you know, DMs me and, and wonders, you know, what's going on and things like that. And thank you. And you guys know who you are. Uh, I love everybody on here. Um, and I love my YouTube channel. So I am going to keep it. I'm just not going to monetize really much because I'm just not in it for the money. I'm in it for you guys and me because I love makeup. And it is my hobby. If there's anything you want me to review or wonder if I have... Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.